Welcome to the CRISP Surgical Ward Round Instructor Module. This video will provide an overview of the Surgical Ward Round component of the CRISP course, highlighting the aims and objectives of the session and demonstrating how to facilitate the Surgical Ward Round to ensure optimal learning outcomes for the candidates. The Surgical Ward Round is a component of the CRISP course which places the CRISP candidates in a hypothetical scenario to reinforce and strengthen their ability to assess complex patients on the ward using the CRISP algorithm, and then to develop a management plan based on those assessments. The Surgical Ward Round is a 75-minute session run concurrently alongside the assessment process on the final day of the course. Eight participants work in pairs on two different patient scenarios. They spend 30 minutes reviewing patient case notes, photographs and clinical information. Following their review of the case, individuals each prepare a brief case summary identifying problems and a proposed plan to address these. Each of the participants presents an aspect of the case to the group with the instructor facilitating the discussion. There are 10 key tasks for instructors throughout the session. One, be familiar with each scenario and the key clinical and management issues. Two, ensure availability of writing and presentation materials and aids. Three, ensure adequate desktop space to review notes. Four, state the objectives of the session clearly. Five, Give clear instructions of tasks to participants. 6. Allow equal time for presentation and discussion of each case. 7. Keep to the time limits of each scenario and be familiar with the overall timeline for the session. 8. The instructor should be aware that one scenario is of a more complex, critically ill patient but should avoid spending more than the allocated 20 minutes for each scenario. 9. Leave time for questions at the end of each scenario. 10. Summarise the session. The room in which the session is being held should be set up with the following. Two tables, each of which can accommodate four seated participants with enough room to spread the papers associated with the surgical ward round charts and writing materials. Adequate paper and pens should be available for the candidates. Remove instructor notes in the plastic sleeves from the folders. Two sets of charts for scenario one should be placed on one table for the first group and two sets of charts for scenario two for the second group on the other table. Each table should have a copy of the laminated daily plan for stable patients. The CRISP algorithm poster should be visible within the room. The room and materials should be set up in a way that follows key points two and three. Ensure availability of writing and presentation materials and aids. And ensure adequate desktop space to review notes. At the beginning of the session, the instructor should outline the aims and objectives of the session and brief the participants about the approach they will need to adopt to complete the session. So we're going to use the CRISP algorithm to look at these two patients on a surgical ward round and assess the patient and come up with a plan of management exactly as you would if you're on a ward round. The instructor should inform the candidates that the aim of the session is to improve the participant's patient management skills by taking them on a ward round where they will assess a virtual patient, analyse the available data and formulate a plan of action. During the introduction, it is critical to adhere to key point four. State the objectives of the session clearly. The objectives of the surgical ward round are assess complex patients as if on a ward round using the CRISP system of assessment. Assimilate, interpret and present data formulate a management plan and identify the strengths and weaknesses of their own approach and that of others in the group. After the instructor has outlined the aims and objectives of the surgical ward round, they should provide the candidates with a brief for the session. 
We've got 30 minutes to start assessing the patient. I want you to work in pairs, so the person that you're sitting next to will be who you're working with. The two groups will be given 30 minutes to work together in pairs to review the case notes they have been given, assess the patient's status and develop a management plan. Each candidate will also be assigned an individual task which they must present to the rest of the group. Participant 1 summarises the case. Participant 2 describes their assessment using the CRISP algorithm. Participant 3 presents a management plan and Participant 4 will communicate with a member of the other group in the form of a medical handover at the end of a shift. The instructor should assign an individual task to each candidate before the review process begins. At all times, the instructor should remember to give clear instructions of tasks to participants. The instructor should now allow 30 minutes for the groups to review their respective patient charts, assess the patients and develop a management plan. Once this 30 minute period is up, the instructor should ask each candidate to present their individual task, starting with the case summary for scenario one. Each team is allotted about 20 minutes for presentation and discussion of their scenario, which allows approximately five minutes per individual presentation and discussion. The next 20 minutes should be devoted to a presentation and discussion of scenario two. Remembering at all times to allow equal time for presentation and discussion of each case, keep to the time limits of each scenario and be familiar with the overall timeline for the session, and be aware that one scenario is of a more complex critically ill patient, but the instructor should avoid spending more than the allocated 20 minutes for each scenario. After each presentation, the other group is asked if they have any questions or comments. This is relevant to key point nine. Leave time for questions at the end of each scenario. The instructor then may ask additional questions and give comments guided by the faculty notes under the heading Issues for Discussion. At the end of the session, the instructor should present a summary of the session as per key point 10. Summarise the session. The instructor should highlight what has been learned, including the importance of carefully structured daily ward rounds, generation of clear plans of action, the role of a clear action plan and ward round in preventing and or managing critical illness, and the importance of clarity and objective setting. The instructor should also reiterate the aims and objectives of the session as previously outlined at the beginning. Between sessions, it is important for the instructor to remove all used materials and note paper and to ensure that the patient charts are returned to the folders and organised correctly before the next session commences. To reiterate, the procedures and issues to focus on in the surgical ward round are the importance of a carefully structured daily ward round, the generation of clear plans of action, the role of the action plan and ward round in preventing and or managing critical illness, and the importance of clarity and objective setting. This video has demonstrated the value of the surgical ward round component of the CRISP course and will help you, the instructor, facilitate this important session. Thank you.